Difference between do and make. 60 common English collocations. These two words can be confusing, but today I'll teach you the difference and teach you 60 common collocations with example sentences to help you. In general, we use do for actions, obligations, and repetitive tasks, and we use make for creating or producing something and for actions you choose to do. Do generally refers to the action itself, and make usually refers to the result. For example, if you make breakfast, the result is an omelet. If you make a suggestion, you have created a recommendation. Let's look at some specific examples. Use do for housework. For example, do the housework. After I got home from the office, I was too tired to do the housework and do the laundry, which means to wash your clothes. For example, I really need to do the laundry. I don't have any clean clothes left. We also say do the dishes. I'll make dinner if you do the dishes afterwards. You can also say wash the dishes and do the shopping. For example, I went to the bank, did some shopping and mailed a package at the post office. One exception is that we say make the bed. Make the bed means putting blankets, sheets, and pillows in the correct place so that the bed looks nice and not messy. Use do for work and study. Do work. I can't go out this weekend. I have to do some work on an extra project. Do homework. You can't watch any TV until you've done your homework. Do business. We do business with clients in 15 countries. Do a good job. Do a great job. Do a terrible job. For example, she did a good job organizing the party. Do a report. I'm doing a report on the history of American foreign policy. You could also say write a report. Do a course. We're doing a course at the local university. You can also say, take a course. Use do for taking care of your body. Do exercise. I do at least half an hour of exercise every day. Do your hair, meaning to style your hair. I'll be ready to go in 15 minutes. I just need to do my hair. Do your nails, means paint your nails. Can you open this envelope for me? I just did my nails and they're still wet. And use do for general good or bad actions. Do anything, do something, do everything, do nothing. Are you doing anything special for your birthday? You can't do everything by yourself. Let me help you. Do well. I think I did pretty well in the interview. Do badly. Everyone did badly on the test. The highest grade was 68. Do good. The nonprofit organization has done a lot of good in the community. Do the right thing. When I found someone's wallet on the sidewalk, I turned it into the police because I wanted to do the right thing. Do your best. Don't worry about getting everything perfect. Just do your best. Now let's look at collocations with make. Use make for food. Make breakfast, make lunch, make dinner. I'm making dinner. It'll be ready in about 10 minutes. Make a sandwich. Could you make me a turkey sandwich? Make a salad. I made a salad for the family picnic. Make a cup of tea. Would you like me to make you a cup of tea? Make a reservation. I've made a reservation for 7.30 at our favorite restaurant. Use make for expressions with money. Make money. I enjoy my job, but I don't make very much money. Make a profit. The new company made a profit within its first year. Make a fortune. This means to make a lot of money. He made a fortune after his book hit number one on the bestseller list. Make and then a dollar amount. For example, 
I made $250 selling my old CDs on the internet. Use make for relationships. Make friends. It's hard to make friends when you move to a big city. Make love is another way to say have sex. For example, the newlyweds made love on the beach during their honeymoon. Make a pass at someone means to flirt with that person. My best friend's brother made a pass at me. He asked if I was single and tried to get my phone number. To make fun of someone means to tease or mock someone. For example, the other kids made fun of Jimmy when he got glasses, calling him four eyes. Make up can mean to resolve a problem in the relationship. For example, Karen and Jennifer made up after the big fight they had last week. Use make for communication. Make a phone call. Please excuse me, I need to make a phone call. Make a joke. He made a joke, but it wasn't very funny and no one laughed. Make a point. Dana made some good points during the meeting. I think we should consider her ideas. Make a bet. I made a bet with Peter to see who could do more push-ups. Make a complaint. We made a complaint with our internet provider about their terrible service, but we still haven't heard back from them. Make a confession. I need to make a confession. I was the one who ate the last piece of cake. Make a speech. The company president made a speech about ethics in the workplace. Make a suggestion. Can I make a suggestion? I think you should cut your hair shorter. It would look great on you. Make a prediction. It's difficult to make any predictions about the future of the economy. Make an excuse. When I asked him if he'd finished the work, he started making excuses about how he was too busy. Make a promise. I made a promise to help her whenever she needs it. You can also use promise as a verb by saying, I promised to help her whenever she needs it. To make a fuss means to demonstrate annoyance. For example, stop making a fuss. He's only late a couple minutes. I'm sure he'll be here soon. Make an observation. I'd like to make an observation about our business plan. It's not set in stone, so we can be flexible. Make a comment. The teacher made a few critical comments on my essay. One exception is with the word question. Don't say, make a question. The correct phrase is, ask a question. Finally, use make for plans and progress. Make plans. We're making plans to travel to Australia next year. Make a decision or make a choice. For example, I've made my decision. I'm going to go to New York University, not Boston University. Make a mistake. You made a few mistakes in your calculations. The correct total is $5,430, not $4,530. Make progress. My students are making good progress. Their spoken English is improving a lot. Make an attempt or make an effort. These expressions both mean to try. For example, I'm making an effort to stop smoking this year. Make up your mind means to decide. Should I buy a desktop or a laptop computer? I can't make up my mind. Make a discovery. Scientists have made an important discovery in the area of genetics. Make a list. I'm making a list of everything we need for the wedding. Make sure means to confirm. Can you make sure we have enough copies of the report for everybody at the meeting? Make a difference. Getting eight hours of sleep makes a big difference in my day. I have more energy. Make an exception. Normally the teacher doesn't accept late homework, but she made an exception for me because my backpack was stolen with my homework inside it. If you want to learn more collocations, click on the link in the video or in the description for more information about my ebook, 1000 English Collocations in 10 Minutes a Day. 
You'll learn the common combinations of words used by native speakers, and there are quizzes to help you practice the expressions.